Hey everyone, you're watching The Beatdown. The Beatdown is a series where we pin off superheroes and or supervillains against each other to see who would come out on top in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Today's matchup is Captain America vs. Green Goblin. The two have almost no history seeing each other, though they reside in the same universe. Starting off with Captain America, here's some info on Cap's background. His identity is formerly known as Steven Rogers, or Steve as everyone calls him. His alias is Captain America, a very recognizable character in the MCU. He's a male, standing at 6'2", 240 pounds. He is, in fact, a thick boy. His net worth is unknown but we're assuming it's about eight million. How he received that money is probably back pay through the government. Some notable occupations are a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and Avenger, along with being an intelligence operative. His current base of operation is Avengers Mountain, North Pole. His citizenship is United States. Moving on to equipment that Captain America uses. The equipment Cap uses is an iconic symbol for Marvel Studios, that being his S.H.I.E.L.D. As most of us know, it's made from vibranium, along with a proto-adamantium steel alloy. If you don't know what adamantium is, it's one of the MCU's most indestructible metals, along with vibranium. The shield was created by Dr. Myron McLean, an American, an American metallurgist who couldn't reproduce another copy of the metal or the shield after creating the original one that Cap uses. Another piece of his equipment is his Captain America signature suit, along with his utility belt. Next is powers and abilities. The powers given to him were from the Super Soldier Serum, a serum that permanently enhanced his bodily functions to peak human condition. His powers include super strength. He can lift up to 800 pounds consistently with a max of 1,200 pounds. Talk about strong. He possesses super speed. He can run at least 26 miles an hour comfortably. If Steve were to push to an all-out sprint, he can achieve up to 60 miles an hour according to the comic books. Talk about hauling ass there. Super durability. To put it simply, he can take a small beating from Thor and still walk away fine. Now that's assuming that Thor isn't using his hammer and he's holding back a great deal. Some other abilities he also possess are super agility, reflexes, stamina, recovery, mental processing, super senses, and advanced longevity. His abilities besides his superhuman abilities include master tactician and strategist, a martial artist. Cap is proficient in judo, boxing, kickboxing, jujitsu, karate, and other forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's also a master shield fighter, acrobat, sketch artist, marksman, swordsman, hacker, and he's also multilingual. This may come to a surprise, but Cap can actually speak Spanish, Japanese, German, Russian, and some French and Italian. He's able to achieve this quite easily, actually, due to his super soldier serum, enhancing his mind. Feats. A feat that we get to see in the MCU movies that I also currently love is him lifting Jonathan. You know, Thor's hammer, the thing like he rides on. Another feat that also may surprise people, he was able to beat Wolverine, Spider-Man, and US Agent. Beating these three MCU characters is extremely impressive. Another strange feat he actually has is that he can see bullets, which is one we don't actually get to see too much in the MCU or at all. Now, we can't see them coming at him, but he can see them as they pass by with his super senses. Though he can't react fast enough to get out of the way, but he can kind of see the heat trailing behind them. If you want a more accurate visual representation, think of the Matrix. Some support that Cap has is the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. He also has a bunch of other support classes, but those are his main support that he would use at any time during his career. Now that I gave you a little bit of a synopsis with Captain America. Let's move on to the baddie, Green Goblin. Green Goblin's identity is Norman Virgil Osborne, otherwise known as Green Goblin. He's a male. He stands at about 5'11", 185 pounds. His net worth is about $10 billion. He is definitely a rich boy. His occupations include a bunch of different stuff, but most notably, he is the owner and president of Osborne Industries and Oscorp. He is also a crime lord, along with the owner of the Daily Bugle, you know, the place that Peter Parker works at. His base of operations formerly is an abandoned subway under New York, Oscorp. Corp Tower or Osborne Manor. His citizenship is the United States. His most notable and signature suit is his Green Goblin armor, which protects him from 
bullets, stabbing, and explosions. Another signature piece of equipment that the Green Goblin uses is his pumpkin bonds. This can have a variety of different effects, which include concussive, incinerary, or smoke and gas effects. He also uses a razor bat, which is a bat-shaped object or projectile he uses to throw, kind of like a batarang. His suit also has an electrical discharge feature if you try to touch him or if you try to take the suit off. Occasionally, he can also be seen with his bag of tricks, as he calls it, which basically include different variations of pumpkin bombs inside of him that he uses to fight his enemies. His last signature piece of equipment is his glider. Originally looking like a stick with a jet on it, the writers changed it to look a little more practical to make it into a glider. His powers and abilities. His powers are almost the same as Captain America. It includes super strength, speed, stamina, durability, regenerative healing, agility, and reflexes. Now, for his strength, Green Goblin is definitely no joke. His super strength is almost on par with Spider-Man. The man can lift up to 9 tons, according to the comics. Now, in the MCU, we don't really get to see that, or in the Raimi films. It doesn't seem like he's all that strong, but apparently he can lift up to 9 tons, which is extremely impressive. His super durability allows him to take a beating from Spider-Man, who can lift about 10 tons, according According to comics, maybe even more depending who's writing it. His rapid regenerative healing is also extremely impressive. It's not as good as Wolverine's, but he can definitely heal from pretty fatal wounds. For example, he was able to survive being impaled by his own glider through the chest and making a full recovery in a few days. Some abilities he possesses are an indomitable will. Captain America possesses this as well, but the indomitable will means that you will never give up or admit defeat to your enemies, making it extremely difficult to fight, to fight head on, and to beat. He's a genius level IQ, he's an expert marksman, and an, an extremely good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Although his skill isn't as comparable to Captain America, Green, Green Goblin is definitely no brawler and can throw hands effectively if he wants. Some impressive feats that most people don't know about, that he's created the entire Clone Saga. If you don't know what the Clone Saga, it's a huge comic book arc that I will not dive into here, but I will rather make a separate video talking about the Clone Saga. Creating his own Green Goblin formula, in case you don't know, Norman is somewhat of a scientist himself, which was supposed to almost mimic the Super Soldier Serum, but instead turned him into a goblin. He's figured out Spider-Man's identity and beat the crap out of him on numerous occasions. This might not seem like anything impressive, but the fact that it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man is an extremely strong hero, and is to not be taken lightly and the fact that he constantly goes after him and beats the crap out of him on on a number of occasions is very impressive some support he has that i find to be rather strange is hammer the dark avengers and the thunderbolts now who do you think would be today's winner write a comment below on who you think would win this matchup so the winner is green goblin now, the MCU makes it seem that Captain America is just this roided out jock and he is just super strong and just is just better than everyone else. Morally, yes, he is. But when it comes up against Green Goblin, Captain America will fall short. Now, Captain America can fight way better and way more agile than Gobby. But the fact that Green Goblin can take a beating from Spider-Man over and over again and live to tell the tale shows something and live to tell the tale along with coming back for seconds is very impressive. Captain America can't do that. Now we see in the MCU, they do have a mini fight, but I wouldn't even say it was a real fight. It was kind of just a little skirmish they had. They weren't going for each other's throats. Now, if they did fight, now if Green Goblin is pinned up against Captain America, maybe they'd have a small little skirmish. Way more intense, obviously, than, than Spider-Man versus Captain America. But with Green Goblin's tech and his incredible strength and durability, he would be able to overpower Cap in a long, drawn-out fight. To put it into perspective, remember the scene from the MCU where Spider-Man caught the Winter Soldier's Punch, it'd be the same thing with Green Goblin and Captain America. Now, I think Captain America is a little stronger than Bucky, but the fact that Spider-Man is able to catch the Winter Soldier's Punch is very impressive, and the fact that Green Goblin is almost as strong as Spider-Man would show that he would have almost the same capability as Spider-Man. So in the end, I think that Green Goblin would definitely smoke Captain America in a long, drawn-out fight. Maybe if it was a short fight that was kind of a blitz, I think Captain America might have the upper hand, but if Green Goblin has all his tech has all his equipment and he's ready to go and we throw them in a cage against each other and Captain America just has a shield, the Green Goblin would definitely win. So that wraps up the video. If you like this type of content, leave a like. If you don't like it, dislike it, but tell me in the comment section below like why you don't like it so I can try to improve and make my shit better. If there's any matchups that you would like to see, leave a comment below on what matchups you'd like to see and I'll see you guys next time on 